Hello and welcome my beautiful scorpion shapes. Today I will show you how to get into the daredevil. It's not an easy pose but we will be working with it in the next flow. So if you have no idea what the daredevil is then make sure to follow this tutorial, get your strength up, get your confidence level up so that we can use it in the next combo. And if you already got it down don't do what we're <laughs> maybe take this as a little incentive to refresh it again. Starting with a version on the floor just to get you guys a little bit comfortable but before that get a warm up in to warm up your pole so that your knee pits and your body is just really like you know warmed up so that you're not getting hurt and that you will always um, have enough friction against the pole so you're not sliding down. Again, you can use um, dry hands, liquid chalk, anything like that if you're like really sweaty. And make sure to wipe down your pole because if there's like oils and residue on there, you're just gonna fall. <laughs> All right, so the first step, the first thing that we're gonna do is that you want to hold on to your pole and you want to hook your knee from outside, yeah? Or from the front of the pole, barely hooking. The thing with the daredevil is that you are basically holding everything with your tongue and the bottom leg the pressure against it. You know what? I'm just gonna show you the trick. The first little exercise that we're gonna do is on the floor, we'll hold on to the pole as well. Hook the leg in front of the pole, your inside arm is gonna grab right under your knee. All right, from here, outside hand is gonna come to the floor, lifting your outside leg up. Now, put a lot of pressure on the top leg, bottom leg, and lift your chest up and you're looking towards the front, all right? So your chest is facing pretty much. And then come down. So the most important aspect is actually that you drive your heel back towards your butt, all right? Because this is everything that's um, holding this trick. So try it out. Also make sure that your foot is always pointed, not flexed. Of course, this is not really creating more safety or anything like that, but it just looks more pretty. The second step, now we want to release both hands and actually our chest wants to be facing the floor. So we'll get in the same Hooking, grabbing, putting your hand on the floor, bringing the other leg towards the pole, very much squeezing and then releasing that hand, letting your chest face the floor and from here bringing yourself up. Yes, and then bringing yourself back down. Now you want to very much experiment a little bit with this one because at first it feels impossible to bring your hands away but as soon as you let go you just feel that your leg that is hooked can hold so much more yeah and your hips are dropping a little bit so you're holding um, more weight in your knee pit so try this a couple times on both sides and you'll see it's not super impossible Step number three is that we bring the first exercise a little bit higher up in the air. Don't worry, this is also not too difficult and if you don't feel good, I want you to get a spotter, get like mats on the floor or not do it at all. If it feels too weird, just stick with the exercise on the floor. But to get in the third step, you want to invert in a V or helicopter and unhook with your outside leg. Let me show you. 
invert hook from here your opposite arm wants to come down so that you can bring that knee towards the pole or your shin towards the pole pushing up a little bit more pressure coming up again facing forward and you're coming out just the way you got it okay here we're grabbing invert and down try this on both sides as well see how comfortable you get with that and if this is no problem at all let's get into it. step number four is you want to invert but not super high you just really want to kind of be here and then do an invert and then basically do step number two but in the air so no hands at all <laughs> i'm going to show you again if you're not feeling comfortable ask somebody to spot you or just stick with the other exercises from before it's super important that you really get into your back your head is up and you're really drawing your shoulders back yeah so it's a lot of back active back flexibility or active back strength as well when you have mastered this third step of a little bit in the air but still having the safety of the floor in front of you or below you you can of course go ahead and try it up in the air even on spinning you feel comfortable and yeah just make sure that you have a very active back um, flexibility but also strength that draws you up having this super strong leg that is hooked against the pole and to really drive yourself out okay do not be afraid and remember that you come out the way you came in so you simply hook the pole in your um, hip crease and invert back from an outside leg hang down to the floor or if you're already a little bit more um, advanced you can of course like combine all the tricks that you have in your mind let's do this on spinning see how it goes and i'm gonna be super excited to see you in the next video